OK, as you know from the first screencast, we've got the Z drive on our computer mapped to the NAS. So if we go in and have a look again, there you go, um, readme.htm, that's just a readme file. Basically, it just points you to the web-based admin. So it's it's a secure web-based admin. Um, again, default password set by me, but you can change it yourself. Um, it's quite a nice theme for webmen. It's um, Ajax, if I if you know what that means, uh, and it's now X theme, so it look familiar if you if you're running a Mac. Um, I've added a few custom commands. So here, status report. That just checks the RAID status. That's just saying that it's all fine, and the smart error status for all the drives. Now you can set it up. If you set your email in here, you can set it up so that your email, if anything goes wrong with the RAID. Same here for the smart error check. Set your email and that you'll be told if anything goes wrong. Daily status check just outputs the, re the result of that report um, program you just ran, but daily to your inbox. Okay, um, as it's quite a nice theme, we can search for things that we want to do. So if you want to see the running processes, we can search for, there you go, running processes, it comes up. And um, these can be stacked by users, amount of CPU running. Um, see, it's being used very very little at the moment. Um, memory, most of it is free um, as you'd expect from a well configured NAS. Um, we'll have a look, we'll use this in a bit to see how, m how much demands the media server software puts on the NAS. Um, but for now that's pretty much all you need to do.